In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up your Warm Audio WA73 preamp with your Warm Audio WA2A compressor as an insert and how best to set up the gain structure between the two devices and your audio interfaces with some audio examples of the compressor in action. Let's go. Hi there, my name's Ed from edthorn.com here to help you make the most out of your home studio. And today we're gonna to be exploring the wonderful world of analog hardware and recording vocals through analog hardware, namely the Warm Audio WA73 preamp with EQ and the Warm Audio WA2A compressor. There are two main ways to set up your WA73 and WA2A when using these to record and mix. Both of these setups can also be applied when using the WA76 compressor as well. Possibly the most obvious setup is to run them in line. So you'd go from your microphone into your preamp, into your compressor, and then out onto your audio interface. This is a straightforward way of setting them up, and of course you can bypass the compressor simply by turning the device off. The signal will continue through the device regardless onto your audio interface. The second way to set them up, which is what I've done in my studio, is to set the compressor up as an insert. And here's how you'd set that up. My microphone is going into the mic line in on the front panel of the WA73. You can, of course, insert a line or instrument line alternatively. Make sure you press the line or instrument buttons on the front panel to activate the necessary circuitry for these settings. On the back of the WA73, you will need to take an unbalanced cable from the insert send out of the unit and into the balanced input on WA2A. Then we take a send from the balanced output on the WA2A to the insert return on the WA73. And finally, we take either a balanced or unbalanced cable from the WA73 line output to your interface, in my case, the Apollo Twin. So Warm Audio suggests using an unbalanced TS cable as your insert cables into the compressor. And I've also used an unbalanced TS cable to connect my preamp to my Apollo Twin, partly because the other cables are unbalanced as well. And also I'm not wiring over a long distance. You can also use an XLR for this. And finally, to implement the compressor into your signal chain, simply depress the insert button on the front panel of your WA73. Now, introducing the compressor introduces a fourth gain stage into your signal chain. The first one being the input gain from the microphone. The second one being the output from the preamp to your audio interface. The third one being the input gain on your audio interface. And the fourth one being the output gain from your compressor. Finding a balance between these four gain stages can be a little bit tricky. They all affect each other in different ways and there's not necessarily a correct formula. Having worked with these devices for a few weeks now, I've found a system that works well for me and gets the results I want and hopefully this can help you too. Your input gain will depend on the microphone you're using. If you're using a dynamic microphone such as the Shaw SM7B, which typically needs a lot of gain, you'll need between 50 and 65 decibels. Luckily, the WA73 has a huge 80 decibels of input gain, giving you plenty of headroom and space to maneuver. Another great reason to get the WA73. For a condenser mic such as the Jay-Z Mics V67, this is a sensational microphone, guys. Uh, you'll need a lot less input gain, typically 20 to 30 decibels. Now, there is a lot of debate on YouTube, forums, and especially Facebook about gain staging. There's not necessarily a wrong answer, but there are some suggested methods that we use. In Logic, I aim for a peak input recording level of minus 10 decibels. Some people will argue minus 18 is the correct level, but personally, I find minus 10 gives me a good, strong signal, plenty of headroom for peaks and compression, and space for gain adjustment further down the line in the mixing process. When dialing in the input gain on our microphone here, a good level is to aim for zero on the output. If you want to really drive the preamp and distort the signal, you can do that. But for vocals, personally, I like a clean signal. Now at this stage, if I was going straight into my audio interface and on into my computer, into my DAW, which in my case is Logic, I would trim the output according to the input on the audio interface. If it was clipping, I would take it back, or if, uh, if I need to push it, I can push it as much as I like. And I can also increase the gain on the audio interface should I need to. At the moment though, I have it set at the bottom setting, which is 10 decibels. Now introducing the WA2A compressor is where the gain staging gets a little bit more complicated. And we have to use our ears to gauge the compression and also keep an eye on the output meter on the WA73. 
The output gain is quite sensitive. You'll need it at least 10, 15. And for vocals, I found the sweet spot to be about 20 to 35. This gets you a nice clean signal. Any more than that, and you're driving the signal into the tubes, which is gonna cause saturation and ultimately distortion. Now, if you want that, fantastic, drive away. But like I've said, for vocals, I'd prefer a clean sound. I've previously done a video which will be linked in the description below and coming up here now, where I ran a single drum overhead through this signal chain and I really, really cranked the output and saturated the sound. And it just sounds wonderful, it really sounds fantastic. But for vocals, I don't want this, I just want the effect of the compression. Once you've recorded the distorted sound, you can't take it off later, so it's better to err on the side of caution, I think. Record what you think you'll need, and then you can also add more saturation later on in the mixing stage. Now, going back to the WA-73 preamp, if we want to incorporate the EQ, we need to depress the EQ button there. And then we also have to recheck the output because adding or subtracting gain on those frequency bands will ultimately affect the overall output gain. Let's dive into Logic where I've set up a session where I'm routing a vocal I've previously recorded back through this signal chain and we're going to have a listen to how we can process the vocals using the EQ and the different levels of compression. All right, so we're here in a demo session of mine in Logic, and this is a dry vocal that I've recorded previously. What I've done is I've put on a little bit of pitch correction for your listening comfort there. And what I need to do is take this out of the stereo out. I'm going to put no output, and I'm going to insert this in-out plugin. And what that's doing is routing this audio channel to my third output on my Apollo, which is then going back into the preamp and inserted into the compressor and then back into the Apollo on input one. Now I've not got no input here because um, that would create a feedback loop. What I've done though on this track and I can arm that for recording is selected line in from the Apollo so that's going to record everything going through the preamp and the compressor. Let's flip back to the camera and then you can see what I'm doing as I'm playing this audio on loop and you can see how I'm processing EQ and adding in the compression. I saw an angel by my side with tears from heaven as she cried I saw a reflection in those eyes like a ghost in the night while we were dancing will you take me by surprise will you take my breath away will you take me by the hand and lead me out into the night in this world in this world I saw an angel by my side With tears from heaven as she cried I saw a reflection in those eyes Like a ghost in the night while we were dancing Will you take me by surprise? Will you take my breath away? Will you take me by the hand and lead me out into the night? In this world, in this world I saw an angel by my side With tears from heaven as she cried I saw a reflection in those eyes, like a ghost in the night while we were dancing. Will you take me by surprise? Will you take my breath away? Will you take me by the hand and lead me out into the night? In this world, in this world, I saw an angel by my side. With tears from heaven as she cried I saw a reflection in those eyes Like a ghost in the night while we were dancing Will you take me by surprise? Will you take my breath away? Will you take me by the hand and lead me out into the night? In this world In this world all right, so off camera there, I've bounced those last settings down to audio and printed what we have here, which is these uh, vocals return that are wet. And I've just added a little bit of reverb, and this is what it sounds like with the track. I saw an angel by my side 
with tears from heaven as she cried. I saw reflection in those eyes like a ghost in the night while we were dancing. Will you take me by surprise? Will you take my breath away? Will you take me by the hand and lead me out into the night in this world? In this world? So there seems to be a little bit of fizz going on. Um, and I wasn't sure if that's because I dialed in too much at 12k but I don't think I've dialed in too much on the preamp I think it's just the nature of running the audio signal through the tubes on the compressor so what I'd really like to try from warm audio is the WA76 uh, I'll hopefully get a hold of one of those from them at some point so I can do a comparison because there's no tubes in that so in theory there's nothing that can color or saturate the sound Anyway, I will hopefully get that comparison video to you soon. So what are your thoughts on how this setup sounds? Would you set it up differently? How would you set up the gain structures? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Coming up, I'll be doing a video comparing how the Warm Audio WA73 compares to the Universal Audio Neve Channel Strip Unison preamp emulation in the Apollo Twin. And also how the Warm Audio WA2A compares to the Universal Audio LA2A plugin in the Apollo Twin again when recording. So if those videos sound of interest to you, please consider subscribing, hit the bell notification. YouTube is gonna make a couple of suggestions for you here. In the meantime, thank you for watching, look after one another, and I'll see you all very soon.